Hey what's up guys, Will here for GSM Arena. Xiaomi's Mi 11 is their first premium phone to come out this year, and it looks like it can give Samsung's flagships a run for their money. Let's go over some of its key features. This is the Xiaomi Mi 11, a high-end flagship which has already been out in China for a while, but now the phone is set to be released globally. The Mi 11 comes in two variants, a Gorilla Glass one like ours, and one with a faux leather sort of plastic back instead. Neither one offers any waterproofing. I'm not sure about the leather, but I do like the feel of this glass, with this frosted horizon blue finish. It tapers into the aluminum frame, and the whole device feels quite thin and easy to grip. You'll notice that the display is curved at the edges. It's actually a much sharper curve than what you'd see on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. The picture quality here is stellar. The screen is a 6.81 inch OLED protected by sturdy Gorilla Glass Victus, with a QHD resolution. And just like the S21 Ultra, the Mi 11 brings this resolution together with a high 120Hz refresh rate. Everything looks super sharp and fluid when swiping around, and it's adaptive. If you stop touching the screen, the refresh rate will go down in order to save energy. For audio, you have a pair of Harman Kardon tuned stereo speakers. There is no headphone jack though, so for that you'll need to use a dongle or connect wirelessly. You get 128 or 256 gigs of storage on the Mi 11 and 8 gigs of RAM. The Chinese market also has the option for 12 gigs of RAM, but no matter where you get the phone, storage isn't expandable. The Mi 11 has a sizable 4600mAh battery, so battery life should be pretty good. Unlike with Samsung's flagships, you do get a charger in the box, sometimes. They just don't send you one by default, you'd have to opt for that when you buy the phone. The 55 watt fast charger is supposed to get you from a dead battery to full in just 45 minutes. There's also support for fast 50 watt wireless charging and reverse wireless charging too. The Mi 11 is the first phone we've seen with the new Snapdragon 888 chipset, which offers 5G connectivity and great performance. Based on some recent comparisons, the chip's performance should be quite similar to the Exynos 2100 you might find in some Galaxy S21 phones. That is to say, it's pretty awesome, but not leaps and bounds ahead of last year's top chipset. The interface of the Mi 11 is based on Android 11 but it's still the MIUI 12 that was available on Android 10. It brings all of the functionality we've seen on recent Xiaomi phones, plus the tweaks and refinements you get with the newest version of Android. You do still get classic Xiaomi features here, such as an IR blaster, which lets you use the phone as a remote control. You can wake up and unlock the phone with an under-display optical fingerprint reader, which works pretty well. The fingerprint scanner is also supposed to be able to read your heart rate, but the feature isn't available right now. It's supposed to come with a future update. Now let's go over the cameras. The Mi 11 has three on the back, a 108 megapixel main camera, a 13 megapixel ultra wide cam, and a five megapixel macro camera. There's also a 20 megapixel selfie cam on the front housed in a punch hole cutout. This camera setup seems pretty much identical to the one on last year's Mi 10T Pro, except for a slightly narrower aperture on the Mi 11's main cam. Overall it's pretty versatile, although we are missing a telephoto cam for zooming. Also, Xiaomi is promoting the Mi 11's capabilities for shooting video. On top of having support for 8K recording, there are several AI modes and effects for your videos, and a video night mode too. We'll test these out and let you know all about it in our full review. So there you have it guys, the Mi 11 looks like a competitive high-end device that is in many ways quite similar to Samsung's flagships, but you do get faster charging here, a Xiaomi interface, and some unique options for video recording. And the Mi 11's MSRP starts at around 750 euros, which is really nice. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with our full review.